Welcome to my channel, Vanessa here speaking, and today we have another unboxing video, and this is unboxing of um, stub nibs and another pen from the same shop where I purchased the stub nibs. Okay, so anyway, I want to com do a comparison between bent nibs as I have here. Oops, <laughs> accidentally. Um, market okay that's the bent nib or fuden nib sometimes it's called like that and this time around i'm going to see if stub nibs works better for me okay that's why i ordered so basically let's see what we got here all right now so i will unbox now um, this package that I have in front of me. So anyway with that it came like this <laughs> Okay, obviously there's no plastic just a box, but we will see what we have inside to be careful because I'm using my cutter and I'm not using scissors in this process so to be careful not to cut myself and also the items there we go we open the box and let's see what we have inside and I ordered this one. Actually, this is um, a Taurus fountain pen, the one that they have on the shop. So, if ever you're interested in this item, I will just include a link down below and also show to you what this is. Alright, with that being shown, okay, let's see what we have here. So, this is actually the Taurus fountain pen. I'm a Taurus myself, that's why I picked this Taurus, and the colors is based on your zodiac sign, by the way. And yeah, I got um, yellow cartridges, and uh, this one is peach in color. So definitely, I like the packaging itself of the fountain pen. Really nice. Um, there's diamonds at the side, and yeah, there's other. Um, shiny part there and I'm not sure if this is Chinese or <laughs> Japanese my gosh um, and you got Toro sign here in this area and here I think it's Korean or Chinese I don't know what it is my gosh forgive anyway let's just open so we may know what we got inside so far I like the packaging and of course the Toro sign there um, and there's a lot of moon decals here, but it's not a part of the pen, it's, it's still the packaging itself. Actually, it's difficult to, to remove the pen because I, maybe supposedly I should, um, okay, I will try to go the other way around. Actually, I'm avoiding to actually open this in this top because of obviously you will also open in this area. I just place this aside. I'm not yet down there, guys, because we still have some items there. Um, anyway, let's go back on unboxing this one. Alright. So, we got a... This is actually bunny. Bunny symbol. <laughs> Silhouette. And then we got um, this doors. I don't know if you can see, but there's a Taurus sign there. Alright, and let's see what else we have here. So, we will put this here at the pen clip. And the pen clip is like this. This looks like um, the Ami Safari fountain pen with, with regards to the design. So, yeah, I noticed that 
this is what it looks like at the back so <laughs> it's not advisable to go a certain way like that um before i thought because you know when we we're still kids if ever there's something like this at the pen we're going to do that okay but this is different i think that i have to actually um put the design here by this procedure see it worked okay so that's where the design go and also want to discover if you know this pens that I bought here will definitely fit my other um, replica of Liami Safari and anyway let's see so why did I purchase this instead of the original one um, basically guys I'm just a beginner I'm still discovering which pen will work for me and what kind what type etc so since I'm still in this discovery period, it's not really advisable that I should purchase something that is very expensive. Actually, guys, I did it um, in the beginning part that I purchased um, fountain pens that are expensive. And it's really frustrating, you know, because those pens that I bought, basically, I don't feel comfortable with them. So it's a waste of money and that's what I learned. I learned it the hard way. So if you're a beginner, don't go after something that's expensive. Try something that is actually less expensive. Like example, you know, this, this one that I have here. So far, this is my, um, what do you call this, less expensive pen because this is actually 99 pesos only, Philippine peso. And I forgot how much this is, actually. So anyway, so far with the grip, it's nice. Because um, they have this part here. After this is what you needed if you're a newbie, so that you will know where exactly you should um, hold your pen. Okay, um, that's the thing that I'm looking for a pen. So far, it's light without cartridges. So let's see if this has a converter inside. No, there's no converter. So they only have these cartridges. So far with the cartridges, um, I think I will not use this kind of cartridges because first of all, you can't actually see the ink inside and you, you can figure out if there is an ink there or not. So that's why um, with this kind of cartridges, it's not really advisable. If you will use cartridges, make sure that, you know, it's actually, what they call this, um, it should, um, show how much ink you have inside. Okay, not this one. Okay, you must choose at least, um, something that's transparent with regards to cartridges. But so far with, uh, with the body itself, it's actually made of plastic what you need to know and obviously the nib okay I want to show it to you and it says here um, you can't hardly read my gosh okay I don't know if it's EF but there's Chinese writing there I'm not sure if you can see don't understand guys okay I don't read Chinese so Let's set this up. Oops. Actually, I will try if ever the cartridges that, not that cartridges, the converters that the other pens has can fit this one. Alright, so anyway, this is kinda, let's see if this can pose. Definitely this can pose. But, with regards to the writing, I don't actually feel comfortable with the cover on so because it feels heavy and it's not comfortable to write on to so if ever you're going to write just remove the the cover that's what my suggestion is maybe because of the design that makes it heavy or this metal part here so yeah even though you can post it i will suggest guys not to so for people out there really discover where you're comfortable with okay anyway let's check what else we have here 
so so far I will not use this cartridges I think it's blue in color all right so and I'm not going to use those inks anyway so anyway let's see what else we have here just place uh, this one at my side okay so there's some more there I just remove the box and this time around let's check what we have here oops hmm interesting I think I'll use my scissors for this So, I ordered two. Um, I'm not sure where is my 1.5 and where is my 1.9. Actually, these are um, fountain pens that has tab nib on. And obviously, the design is kind of like um, Yami Safari. Okay. Um, because, to be honest with you, I it's very difficult to find something that has a stop nib on it okay um that's the reason why i bought this one there's also a stop nibs um in shopee but um it's um the design is wooden and then the grip is not actually my type because i'm looking for a fountain pen that has a good um what do you call this grip area which is like this Okay, they just have a straight um, area here in this part and that's the reason why I didn't purchase that and by the seller of this one actually um, they have multiple of selection with regards to the stab nibs and that's definitely what I like with the seller um, anyway let's go ahead and remove um, the plastics here so anyway guys if you're interested with this kind of um, stub nib serpent you can actually look at the link down below for the link of this item and of course I'll show it to you what I where I bought it okay <laughs> all right with that being shown anyway let's go ahead and check out what I have here so I almost forgot um, where is my 1.9 so I will just go ahead and check that um, on my app all right I will try to see the one where it is five. so let's see what's the difference if I got the right item so yeah they have a converter inside so anyway does this look like a stop nib okay yeah it does I think I need to change the setup of my camera, so I'll just go ahead and um, change the setup. There you go. So yeah, this is a uh, stop nib 1.5. I I think yeah, it is. It is 1.5. It's um, indicated here in this area. And wow, nice um, nice design of the stop nib so far. So obviously, it looks like the yeah, Safari and so far i don't like the blue color because it looks like dull um i think i will just replace it with my other pen that i have here okay um first of all let's check what we got here with regards to the converter oops that's loose really <laughs> remember they put it like this my gosh it's supposedly like um this one i believe to place it like this and the converter it works like um, this okay this is I don't know if this is universal converter but I saw this kind of converter with regards to China um, fountain pens that are like these replicas okay um, anyway I'm going to try if it's possible to actually change the body um, into this one because definitely I, I don't like the color because it's dull I like something that's actually um, pastel like with regards to colors because it's, it's kind of like look good in the eyes so first of all I'm going to place a converter in alright and then did I got it right and then I'm going to apply the body of the Taurus pen 
so far um actually it's um it's so tight and honestly um, but they look they look like they have the same <laughs> for saying it in my gosh and no i think it doesn't work it's so tight let me see let me compare yeah this one has um a thinner thinner area there that's why i think it can't be okay so definitely they have um oh no wonder why okay the other one is not the wider compared to this area here it's really different so definitely um the designs of of this can't fit can fit um the other one so yeah i have to stick on this design sadly <laughs> okay I think it's okay. <laughs> I just use it as my spare or if I want to practice on um, dealing with... Actually, I don't, I don't really know. Um, oh, it's EF. Finally, I understand it. Oh my gosh, I just noticed it's EF. EF means um, extra fine. Alright. Did I got it right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. That's why it don't fit. Am I fitting it the right way? My gosh. Maybe I'm confused lately. Let me check again. Sorry, I'm very clumsy, guys. <laughs> now you know why I need a pen that's actually um, can last my clumsiness. Okay, so basically, let's see if it has a rubber. Is this a rubber? Because if it has a rubber, you can actually make this as an eyedropper. Um, so far... Is this a rubber? This is... This is not a rubber, guys. This is actually a plastic. Okay, it's plastic, so... Um... Because it has sound. And rubber doesn't have a sound, right? So, it's not rubber. So, making it as a, an eye, eye dropper, Not advisable, guys. Okay? So, anyway... Now we know. <laughs> Alright. So I believe um, I just go ahead and actually set up this pen at the side. And then the next thing that we have is this um, black Nyamari. Nyamari. Lami Safari replica again. But this one has 1.9 nib. I don't know if you can see, but it says here 1.9. Okay, and this is um, far bigger than my other nib that I have here. Look at the difference. This is 1.5, and this is 1.9 here. That with a black um, body. And let's see what we have um, inside our pen here so yeah the grip is the same with my taurus um, fountain pen which is actually great for beginners because you can actually know where to hold your fountain pen and how to hold it okay which is actually great wow actually um this one Oh, this is actually loose. So, whenever it's loose, guys, remember to actually um, insert it well. So, anyway, let's see. This works. So, similar converter, guys. Okay. So, with regards to anything indicated in the converter, no, there's no, um, what do you call this, company name there. So let's just place it here because obviously this is just a replica stuff that we have here. And universal converter. So let's begin. We're going to compare these top nibs versus my 
band nib i wonder who will win guys definitely if i like the, the stab nib i think i will purchase another but this time around i will purchase one point mm. 1.1 but for the stub nibs that i have here if i don't really like it i might resell it guys i'm not hoarding this stuff just in this discovery period so if ever you're interested with this kind of pens if ever i will resell just go ahead and check my sh shop online <laughs> okay i have a shoppy shop as well so anyway we're going to set this up to prepare for the testing with regards to the stop needs that I have here, alright? Alright, so I have this set up here as you can see so that I will not actually ruin my painting design <laughs> at the back of this paper so by the way first of all we're going to ink up our fountain pens that we have here so anyway for the blue one I think I'll go for the diamond blue ba blue black ink my gosh I can hardly speak now anyway let's see how this works Anyway, so make sure that it's nice and tight so that we will not have the same problem that I have before in the past. My gosh, um, remember that, um, what they call this in hope pen that didn't got any much ink. Maybe the reasoning is that I didn't, um, actually dug the convert to in and i cannot express my gosh forgive so let's actually grab some ink from our ink bottle let's hope that it grabs some ink Wow, it grabbed an ink successfully. Is there an ink there? Yeah, there is. So you can see. But it's less ink. No, it's many <laughs> because the ink is about. Um, sorry, it's many. <laughs> so I'm trying to say. Anyway, I hope that I won't ink my fingers because sometimes it happens. It gets messy sometimes. So I just um, actually accommodate the door though. Sorry about that guys. Actually another package came in. Okay. So actually I did this to what do you call this to my pen so that it may not dry out. I just hope it didn't. Um, anyway. So let's see if, it, if it's dried up or not. Let's hope it's, yeah, it managed to write. Anyway, so, oh my gosh, I thought that it's not tight. So we got the blue one, blue black on our blue pen. So this one will get the chocolate. So far I don't have yet um, a black ink because I just um, choose this one for for practicing purposes. <laughs> I think I will purchase a black ink um, once that I'm ready for for it. <laughs> okay, so far I'm not. I'm not yet even practicing writing because I'm really waiting which um, will fit me well. So, for filling this up, oh my gosh, I wet the ink. My finger, <coughs> maybe accidentally, um, not sure that that is topped up. And yeah, let's go ahead and put some ink on our pen and Let's see if this works. Let's 
stopped. Don't know why. You did grab some ink, only less ink. I think it's okay since we're just going to experiment. It's okay. Even if it's only grab few ink. So far only few ink. See? Very few ink and I don't know why. Similar issue with regards to my um what do you call this gene help pen. Definitely I resolved that one but anyway. So let's just um cover this up. So it will not dry up. And of course our bottle that we have here. Make sure it's tight. Alright. Okay, so I just remove the tissues. Tissue towels. <laughs> okay. Okay. So anyway, we're going to test. Okay. First of all, I'm going to try the blue one. The 1.5 um, stab nib. Oops. It's, it's very hard to open. And now this is um, the nib itself, the stab nib. So let's go ahead and try this out. So I forgot actually, um, there's a name for this um, pens actually. I'm just going to show that to you. Alright. Oops. Wait, wait, wait. So yeah, this one is actually called um, Duck, Duck Bill Gothic Parallel Calligraphy Art Flat Tip. There's a lot of names, my gosh. Anyway, let's just um, go ahead and write a short version of it. So, my normal handwriting. So far, with regards to the nib, I think it's not um, basically aligned to the grip itself. So I have to adjust myself, to be honest. Because as you can see, if I hold this, it's slanting. Anyway, I hope that I can still get it. So I will just include the name. So far, that's the other. It wrote. Mm -hmm. It skips. See, it skips. I don't know if it's normal that it skips. It's gone. It's better if it if you write it. Oh my gosh, you can't hardly see. Sorry, guys. Um, actually, it's better if you write only in capital letters. But if you try to write with it with small letters, it skips. I don't know why. I'll try again to actually write in um, small let with small letters, okay? See? When I write small letters, it skips. Par parallel. My gosh, it doesn't write. I think I will like the... <laughs> the bent nib. So I just include one point five because it doesn't write well. Stop. I'll just write in capital letters. So there we go. So I forgot to include the ink name. So let's just include the ink name.
I am mine. Twice better with capital letters. I don't know if it's because of the way that I write or... Skips. So, there you go. And... Oh my gosh, there's some, some inks here. I just saw this that. So, by the way, it skips when you write. That's a problem. Okay, I don't know if that's normal, but let's see with the lining. So we will make a lines. See, it skips. Doesn't write smoothly. It skips now. It skips. Alright, so I'm going to test now my other my other pen. This is 1.9. So I just go ahead and write with it. I start with small letters. So this one writes well compared to the other one surprisingly oh now it skips this um this one writes mostly with regards to disney but still sometimes it skips so i'm just go ahead and write the nib size my gosh, the S. Oh my gosh, <laughs> wrong spelling for that. I <laughs> just put um. <laughs> That's a spelling. My gosh, it's not need nib. <laughs> Way funny. Anyway, so nib, and then let's include the name of the ink. Diamine. Um, what do you call this? Chocolate brown. And then let's see if it writes well. Wow, well, yes, it writes mostly compared to the 1.5 nib. But the converter of this one has trouble, right? Um, let's check. Let's compare that with my favorite bent nib. <laughs> okay, my bent nibs. So, this is my favorite one. My bent nib. So, so far, let's do a comparison check. This is okay. I can hardly write. I forgot to raise the. Wait, I'll just check something. All right. Sorry about that. Okay, we're going to write. Some forgot the name again. Sunlit, okay. Oh my gosh, this is wrong. Forgive me, it's not Samp. <laughs> oh, I'm bad with spelling. Sunlit Sketch. Um, fountain pen. And then, um, 
this is bent review day nib one point one M. and this one has diamine chocolate brown and let's compare the size so still nothing beats my other one my fun lit sketch fountain pen um with a review I would say like I don't know if it's because of the size of the nib that's the reason why this one skips let's just see let's just figure out what's the problem okay um why it skips See, it skips really. <laughs> this one has a problem with regard or issues with regards to the ink flow, maybe because I don't um I don't have problem with the other one. The other one writes well. Okay, now it skips. Let me try writing something. Um, trial. Oh, I get it. You have to hold it in slanting position. <laughs> Are we writing donut? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. A, B, oh my gosh, a C, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, B. Sometimes it doesn't write, C, Q, R, oh my gosh, S, S, D, U, V, W, X, Y, and C. What I like about some nibs is that they gave volume, okay? If you actually um, make a line in horizontal, it will give us um, this volume of 1.9 stab nib but if you will write it on the other sides okay it will give you um this um thin lines okay compared to flex nibs flex nibs you know you will have that volume if ever you actually um how to call this <laughs> for serpent like this okay for serpent like that I am basically can't actually give an idea about it. Okay, but my can write actually it has flex nib, but in my discovery it it can't give me any flex any um difference with regards to the thickness of the the what they call this the writing which is actually sad so definitely um with regards to stab nibs and i think i i will give this a, a go with regards to 1.9 but not for something like 1.5 i think it's by luck that you will get um a good um item can be i'm not sure if it what we call this remembers that i went outside when I actually fill this up and then I leave it like this, okay? But without this one, so I think it dried up maybe. 
So I think I'll just go ahead and wash this one. Probably maybe um I'm not don't know. Because if it's dry up guys, it will not write at all. I would say. But if if the product is not good itself, it really skips. That's what you need to know. And so far with regards to what I discovered, if you want volume or kind of making your writing artistic, then go for this tub nip. Um, and for this one, if you want to actually switch, switch the way that you write. You can actually have high volume with this one as well. You can also have can also play out like um this um, what they call this let's just go ahead and <laughs> i forgot i have a paper here that we can use as still okay so oh my gosh <laughs> my poor <laughs> oh that one okay hey poor design okay so let's test because with bent names you can actually um, make it work to have um, actually thick lines or work like a stop nib like example this one if you're going to use this thick area here oh my gosh it can focus sorry about that guys okay the camera don't focus so anyway this is the bent nib so I will try to use the thick part here to give you some comparison Alright, so it just gives this okay. again, it can't focus. So we'll try to actually work, work like, um, let's say, the stop nib. Okay, let's try it again. No, I'm not holding the right way. Let's see if they can, this one can act like <laughs> the stop nibs, okay? Try ya. Uh, does the bent nib. Oh my gosh, I can't focus, forgive. Bent nib can. much gosh I can hold it properly much the stop nib I think I got the stop um, name wrong my gosh what's happening to right me? so stop nib It's not obvious, maybe. So let's write with other stop nib again. And so let's see where it goes. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't write. gosh no the stop nib is different right like with uh, stop nibs it can actually give style to your writing but with regards to the um, bent nib no it doesn't <laughs> that's a huge difference see 
wow that's why i like really to purchase stop me but unfortunately for the 1.5 it doesn't okay i will suggest guys if ever you will purchase this um stop i'm sorry these fountain pens with stop nibs i think you have to purchase um at least so many <laughs> because i'm not quite sure why the other one keeps on skipping i will try again i give a i will give this a, a try all right let's give this one a chance There you go. <laughs> and this is on right now. Right well now. Actually with a difference of 1.5 and 1.9. It's almost similar guys. I would say it's almost. Don't know if you can see it. Um, it's almost the same. So... <laughs> I won't cry because I really like uh, my bent knee, but I think if ever I will um, want to write something that is good, I will use a stub knee. Anyway, I think for this one, for this area here, definitely the stub nibs one. <laughs> <laughs> my gosh, okay? So anyway, I just hope that this um, video may give you some insight guys, okay? So remember guys, if you're interested with these um, products, you can actually browse the links down below. So I'm open to share about the purchases I've done in this journey of figuring out which fountain pen that I like. So if you ask me um, what do I like further, um, I think I like the pen nib now. <laughs> But yet, I want a good quality um, pen with regards to stub nibs, to be honest. Because based on this video, actually it shows um, sometimes what they miss out with regards to, let's say, the quality. Yeah, the quality matters. But it's really heartbreaking out there, you know, because um, to be honest with you as a newbie, I really want something that has a good grip and it's very rare to, to find a product that has this nice, um, grip area. Oh my gosh, sorry. <laughs> grip area there. Really. Um, anyway, so, you can actually purchase parallel, um, pilot, I think. But, I'm not quite sure if that is actually better okay so anyway that's it i think so anyway i hope that this video may give you some insight with regards to these products and what kind of nib would you like okay um is it stub nib or bent nib okay and really discover what you like the guys okay but with the bent nib you can actually use it in every day purpose okay that's what i'm going to suggest because it writes really smoothly with regards to bent nibs that's what i like in this one compared to actually the normal nibs like the extra fine the fine the medium whatever it is um it's kind of scratches you know that's the reason why i like the bent nib because it's actually kind of like respect the paper <laughs> <sighs> all right that's why i like it compared to the other nibs and this one with regards to the stub nib it kind of like scratchy when you write because you kind of like um forcing it in the paper but of course if you hold the fountain pen it's very different if you hold a normal ballpoint 
pen right you have to actually force it in but this this one you have to actually um, write it um, lightly okay I don't know if you can hear but if you use the stub nib it has scratchy sounds see compare with the bent nib it doesn't have um, that sound at all because it writes smoothly it sounds <laughs> has sounds but not that much <laughs> let's see okay I forgot to test it like this yeah it writes smoothly with a bent nib but let's see with the stop nib okay I forgot to actually test it that way okay let's try doesn't write again sometimes it misses a spot let's try the other one doesn't write anymore I think I will not use the blue one because it has problem with regards to the writing it skips compared to the other one actually um, purchasing from this shop I don't know if it's by luck that you will have a good nib versus the knot and actually I don't know if the converter has a problem with this one because definitely just give I just took a little ink as you can see compare when I fill this up it has a lot of ink but the problem here is that um, it doesn't write well okay so and don't worry about um the ink in this one it's not a waste you can actually again place the ink here okay that's not a problem and anyway so i hope that this may give you some insight so this is the difference of 1.5 versus the 1.9 and obviously this this is noticeable um difference with regards to the size right like this is has thinner lines compared to the other um does the pent nib can match the stop nib no <laughs> and no it doesn't okay it's so different oh, really by the way again i almost forgot guys with regards to these pens all right so anyway with regards to let's say the cover and if I'm sorry the cover part if it will pose well okay yes it does and with regards to the weight of how it feels like when you hold it um I think it's it feels like heavy again with regards to this one but it's workable but to be honest I'm more comfortable without the cover on it so far with regards to the weight of this pen it's lighter and by the way um, with regards to the body obviously it's made of plastic okay um, and the clip is metal I forgot and of course the nib okay is it's metal anyway so with regards to the converter it's plastic obviously right so it's really up to you where you're comfortable at but the covers definitely can actually pose on the um, top area of your pen body but yet um, with regards to how you hold it if it's comfortable you feel comfortable with it I think it's workable really but it's kind of like heavy feels if it's um, if this one is on top so basically I think um, if ever you want to work with this kind of I think you it's okay without this one on top 
that it can post that's the thing that you need to hear so anyway okay so i forgot to mention to you guys that the stop nibs actually don't mark your back of the paper okay because definitely um this is not a certain um fountain pen that is so a wet writer definitely it's kind of like a dry writer to be honest because it skips and compare that with the Jin Hao pen that I actually did an unboxing video with. Actually, that pen is a wet writer. And in comparison with regards to um, that fountain pen, actually, it, it releases a lot of ink to the point that it marks the back portion of the paper. Which is actually not nice at all because it's a waste of ink. And yeah, so far with the... Uh, Stop nib also the same, okay? It may waste a lot of ink, but yet it doesn't actually mark your back part. So that is with regards to the one that I unbox now. I'm not sure if um, other um, stop nibs out there will have the same um, outcome. I'm not quite sure I didn't um, do unboxing and reviewing of those. But I think in the future, I might actually get um, the parallel pilot, um, what do you call this? I don't know if it has a fountain pen, <laughs> honestly. But I might purchase that in comparison with this one. Because I want something that's only have um, less thickness compared to 1.9 um, nib. So far, the 1.5 doesn't work much for me because it feels so scratchy and I did try um, this um, part here with the 1.5 I did try it again I gave it a go but still it really skips guys if you see complete um, lettering here it's because I go back to the part where it skipped and still scratchy though so since my 1.5 in this video failed I might purchase um, a parallel pilot one day and so far if ever I will purchase to that shop again I think I will not definitely because of the reason that it could be by luck that you will get um, a good um, fountain pen right because um, the other one didn't work well and that's the reason why I'm kind of like hesitant now to buy from that shop with regards to stop nibs and yeah because of the quality too that's also what we look forward with uh, let's say expensive um, pens right that's a benefit that you will have but if you're a newbie like me of course you're still discovering which one you like so now that you know what you like that is when you will purchase something that is of a high quality um if ever that's what you're looking for so far with regards to um stub nibs i think i will just use it um in occasions to be honest if ever um my handwriting is needed to be uplifted but if in a day-to-day process like example i will use it for the office for my work i think i will not definitely use this one i will just use it maybe um on the intro part when when in typing example in computer you have to actually make the title be exalted right you need um, bold letters of course big letters as well so that is when i will use these um stop nibs but for an occasion of you know using it in an of in the office etc so i will just definitely go after with a bent nib for everyday use okay so anyway with regards to fountain pens of course you need extra in case that um you will clean your fountain pen the main your main one for let's say one day okay and of course for that one day you can't use that pen because you have to wait for at least eight hours for it to uh, um what do you call this to be clean right can hardly express sorry um yeah and the spare one will definitely work while that other 
pen is still, you know, in a cleaning process, right? So, yeah, that's why you have um, spare. That's why if you notice that those people who use fountain pens, they have always a spare ones. And some people does collect, yes, but um, in my case situation, I don't really um, collect much now. Because I learned my lesson, I'm a collector before of different things, and now I will just purchase stuff that definitely will help me out. Okay, so yeah, I think I will purchase another Stubney, but this time around, I will purchase the pilot one, something of a good quality. Let's actually unbox it next time if ever I will have it, so that we will do some comparison check again. So far with this. With this one, I will still keep it, okay? So that um, if ever that parallel um, pilot came in, I can still do some comparison with regards to it and the other stub nibs that I have. The cheap ones versus the, you know, original ones, alright? So anyway, I think that's it, guys. So I hope that this video may give you some insight and send you all peace, love, and light. Bye.